Ready, ready, all set. Welcome guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and I'm a holistic chef. And in today's video, I will show you how to make skin friendly breakfast that is going to be delicious and very, very healthy for your body, for your guts and for your skin. And I will also share uh, all my favorite skincare products that I use on a regular basis. And I like them because they really, really help my skin to look healthy. So if you are interested, please keep watching this video. Before we start, I wanted to remind you a few things. Many of us know about this, but we tend to forget things. So here's the reminder. Our morning and nighttime skincare routines make up two thirds of all the things that we do to make our skin look healthy. Two thirds, it's a big number, guys. One third is something that we do um, every month when we go to see our esthetician, we do facials, we do some kind of other treatments, we do winter peels. By the way, this is what I did yesterday. That's why my skin is so tight. It feels amazing. But two thirds is something that we do every day, every morning and before we go to bed. That's why if you really, really want to see the result, you need to be committed. You need to spend five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening to apply all your products, do face massage if you have time, because this is the best thing that you can do. You will not need buttocks if you do face massage. Trust me. Last but not least, I feel like this is the chef inside me is taking over. Many people underestimate uh, the importance of food and how food can really affect our skin. You need to be very selective with what you eat. The food needs to be nutritious. It should have a certain amount of vitamins and fiber and minerals uh, to make sure that your body is healthy and your guts are healthy because there is a strong correlation between the health of your guts and your skin. Uh, in my case, I can see right away if I was eating too much sugar or I was drinking too much alcohol, I was eating too much dairy. In this case, I just uh, eliminate a certain food for at least two weeks until everything calms down and then um, I can slowly reintroduce certain food back to my diet. So food is important. Okay, welcome. This is my beauty army and this is pretty much everything that I am using on a regular basis. And I have four different brands. Two of them are considered to be professional grade cosmetics. And every time when I go to see my esthetician once a month or once every two months, she looks at my skin and she tells me exactly what products I need to add and something that I need to change. That is why there are certain products here from the professional line that may not necessarily work for everybody because it really depends on how mature your skin is, depends if it's winter, if it's summertime and stuff like this. But there are many products such as eye cream, or hydration mask that I feel like everybody can use. So this is just something that you need to keep in mind. So the first brand that I wanted to show you, this is the natural one, and I think that everybody can use this uh, product because this is truly the best product that I've ever tried. Uh, the brand is called Leave-In Libation. Uh, Buckthorn cleans best skin ever. I use it twice a day. I use it in the morning and I use it in the evening. In the morning when obviously I'm not wearing any makeup, I just do a few pumps and then I massage it into my skin and then I just take it off. In the evening, I can use five or six. Once again, depends if I'm wearing the makeup or not. Before I met my esthetician and before I moved to New York, I used to have very, very oily and super annoying T-zone and I was struggling with uh, black hats. I literally had to go and see my esthetician every three weeks to do the facial because it was crazy. And um, when I moved to New York, I met a new esthetician and she was the one who recommended me to get this product and use it as a cleanse. And I was surprised because I thought like, okay, I already have oily skin and now I need to use oil to clean my skin, it didn't make sense to me, but she told me that I need to use something that has oily consistency because oil balances out oil, something like this. Guys, anyways, this worked. This is my fifth bottle and I can't imagine my life without this. Another product from this, from this brand, it's, um, that's the serum. 
it's called rose glow serum and it has absolutely amazing smell and i use this serum every time when i do face massage um, it's, it's great. You don't need to take this off because it penetrates the skin really, really well. It's not that oily. It's, it's, it's great. Really, really. I need, to, I need to get a new one. This one is almost done. This is another product from Living Libation. It's called Everybody Loves the Sunshine. So there are certain misconceptions about SPF. And some people say that we don't necessarily need to use SPM every day unless we're like literally baking under the sun because when we do that, our skin doesn't get vitamin D, which is absolutely essential vitamin for our body. And this is what I use instead. This has more natural ingredients. And um, recently when we were traveling with my husband to Cayman Islands, it was my birthday. By the way, if you didn't see this vlog, I'm gonna leave the link here, so just go and watch it if you're curious, it was fun. So I was using this sink. Uh, the only thing is that you have to reapply it every two hours. So this is a very gentle, with natural ingredients, SPF alternative, I would say. Now we are moving to another brand that I love, absolutely love them. It's called Lolly Beauty. I think this is the uh, the oil that they are known for. It's called Plum Elixir. This is something that I use when I massage my face. They use 100% recyclable packages. They use only natural ingredients. They write everything that they put in terms of the ingredients here. You can read and understand every single thing. Um, I wish you could smell this elixir because it smells amazing. Like it's so, so, so good. Yeah, you can use it uh, during the winter because right now the air is dry and our skin is dry. It's not uh, hydrated enough. So um, you can just apply it throughout the day or before you go to bed or once again, if you do face massage. Love, love, love this one. Another two products that I have from the same brand. This is the Purple Corn Grains. Um, I use it as a face crab. It has this uh, consistency of powder. So you just take a little bit of these grains, you mix it with water, and then you massage your face. It's really, really great. And at the same time, it's very gentle. So it's not gonna do any harm to your skin. And this is the Chia Carrot Brulee. This is super hydrating cream. I don't use it very often, but sometimes when my skin is like super dry, this is what I use. This is how it looks. It literally looks like a carrot brulee. I think that everybody's familiar with the cocoa kind. They are very well known on social media. And I have a few products that I like from this brand. This is the mask. You mix it together with water. I use it every time when I have breakouts on my skin because it dries out the skin a little bit and um, and the next day when you wake up and your skin is just absolutely clean. Uh, this is the stick. It's called my uh, matcha stick. My, my matcha stick. I use it throughout the year. Every time when I travel, especially when I'm on the plane, I apply it on my lips, under the eyes. And it's also natural brand. They use natural ingredients. It smells amazing. And I just, these are the two products that I really, really like. Another one that is really really good it's this rose uh, water i mostly use it uh, in the summer just to refresh my face and it smells really good well it smells like roses and now we're moving to the professional uh, cosmetics the first one is called cosmetics this is the mystic this thing works as a toner and i use it Every time uh, when I use Backthorn, I use this toner to get rid of the um, residuals oil on my face if I'm planning to apply any other products. Because when we have a lot of oil on our face, other products cannot penetrate into the skin. This can work as a setting a spray. So when you apply your makeup, you just spray it on your makeup and then it's 
stays longer, but I don't really use it as a setting spray. I use it as a toner. This is a really, really nice one. And once again, I think this is something that everybody can use. It doesn't matter um, you know, how mature your skin is. It's just a really great hydrating uh, treatment eye serum that I use. It's called OptiCrystal. This thing is quite pricey. It's, co it's cost, I believe, $95, but this is the old one. And I was using this eye serum for almost five months. And here's something that you guys need to know. This was the old tube. I was planning to throw it away because it felt like there was nothing left. Then for some reason, I don't know why, but I decided to cut it into half. And look how much product do I have left. So just keep it in mind. I can use this for another month for sure. Well, or maybe two weeks. What I like about this eye cream, I will show you right now. It's the consistency. Because sometimes there are certain eye creams that when you apply them under the eyes, they penetrate the skin and then your skin is just dry after half an hour. You need just one little drop like this. You don't need more because this is very, very, oops, intense one. And it has absolutely amazing texture, look at this. And then you apply it under your eyes, you massage it just, you know, to activate this uh, area. It penetrates into your skin and after like a few minutes, you can apply um, uh, makeup, foundation, concealer, whatever you're using. And your skin stays uh, hydrated. And this is what I really, really like about this eye serum. Pure enzymes from the same brand. Uh, I use it once a week. This is a great exfoliation mask. It has a nice pinky color, nice smell. You just apply it on your face and then you leave it for three, 10 minutes. And what's the difference between face scrap and something like this, like enzymes exfoliation, that this thing, it actually penetrates into the skin, into your cells. Just regular face scrap that we're using, you know, something like this uh, grains from Lolly. It just exfoliates the, the surface of your skin. It doesn't go deep into your cell. Rescue. This is what I use mostly in the winter because this is a very, very intense hydrating mask. I don't use it as a mask, to be honest. I just put it all over my face before I go to bed and I sleep with this. And then the next day when I wake up, my skin just literally glowing. From what I know that time when we sleep, uh, we lose a lot of water. And this is something that helps to retain the water that you need in your skin. So great, great, great thing. Serum 16. Okay, this is not for everybody. It really depends on how mature your skin is. I don't know how old are you guys, but I started using retinol when I turned 25 or 26 because this is a really, really great anti-aging product that you are supposed to use throughout the winter time because you cannot really use this in, uh, when it's summer. Um, your skin becomes very sensitive to the, to the sun that is why if you don't want to end up with the pigmentation, it's better to use it in the winter time when the sun is not strong and you use it before you go to bed, never ever throughout the day. Uh, if you have wrinkles and even if you don't have wrinkles and you want to make sure that you will not getting wrinkles anytime soon, this is what you need to um, use. I would recommend to speak to esthetician uh, to make sure that this is exactly what you need and that your skin is ready for retinol. Another professional brand, it's called Environ. Is that the way? Yeah, this is the way you pronounce it, Environ. So here I have vitamin A and vitamin C. This is a step-up system and I use these two uh, products together. Vitamin A is great if you have oily skin, which is my case, and it works really, really well um, on the skin that is prone to acne. And vitamin C is just a great antioxidant and it makes your skin brighter and healthier. Really, I think this is a necessity, absolutely. I do a little bit of a vitamin A, a little bit of vitamin C, mix it together, apply it on my skin, on my neck. And you can use it uh, during the day or before you go to bed. And this is just the... Uh, 
the cupping that I use when I do face, well, this is for the body, but this is for the face. When I do face massage, this is my roller. It's 0 0.25 millimeters. I do use it from time to time. It helps the products to penetrate into your skin, but you guys need to be really, really careful. You need to clean it well, so you're not gonna end it up with the breakouts on the next morning. I have washer tools that I use as well. And by the way, if you are interested, if you want me to show and make a video on how I do face massage, let me know, comment, and I will make this video. I have uh, different techniques that I'm using, washer, uh, face capping, and also I do uh, Chinese techniques, and it works really, really, really well. So this is pretty much all the products that I'm using. And it seems like I have a lot, but actually I don't use them all at once. Rotation is really, really good for your skin. It's like the same as when we go to the gym. When it, we do the same exercises, our muscles, they get used to these exercises. So same goes with the skin. You need to rotate. I can use plum elixir from Loli, or I can use rose serum from Living Libation when I do a face massage. And one night I can use Rescue as a hydration mask, and the next day I will put Serum 16 as a retinol. So this is kind of what I do. There are certain products that, of course, I use every day, no matter what, such as a cleanse and eye serum, but other products, I rotate them all the time. I hope that everything was clear. Once again, I'm not a professional esthetician. Everything that I was telling you right now, I learned from my esthetician. Now we're gonna go to the kitchen and uh, we will make delicious, uh, healthy, skin-friendly breakfast. I am very, very hungry. I don't know about you guys, so let's go. Today we will make gluten-free breakfast. We will cook buckwheat with caramelized onions and mushrooms, and it's gonna taste delicious. I know that many people don't like buckwheat. This is definitely not my case because I'm Russian, we eat a lot of buckwheat. It's healthy, it's packed with antioxidants, it's packed with vitamins and minerals, and it doesn't have any gluten. It's a gluten-free grain. By the way, gluten is actually something that can cause inflammation in our guts. And in this case, our skin shows the sign that something is off. That is why it's a really, really great idea, at least a few times a week, stay away from gluten and switch to gluten-free grains such as buckwheat. I was looking for a purpose, found out money, fortune, and fame, it just ain't worth it, it's worthless. I took the cash and burnt it, didn't want a reputation to chase on what's on the surface line. The things that I find will never satisfy me in the long time, and all the dreams I dream That I need comes from within me If I look a little closer then I see it in me Shining brightly These gifts are igniting Give it to me proudly from Almighty God Thank you for your mercy Oh, you give it to me freely Oh, and even though it don't Our skin-friendly breakfast is done I mean, I wish you could smell it It's so, so, so good I made this recipe, I don't know how many times And it's absolutely delicious Please do me a favor Try to make this at least once and let me know if you like it or not but i can assure you that your skin will be happy your guts your soul your mind because this is very very healthy and nutritious food and right now the wealth that i need comes from within me if i look a little closer then i see it in me shining brightly these gifts are igniting giving to me proudly from almighty god